Hello there everyone and welcome back to another episode in a two point campus our challenge mode school of thought class only now this is episode seven if you haven't watched episodes one to six then I will have the playlist in the description so you can watch it from start to finish and do a little catch up but without further ado let's just continue our challenge mode let's crack on all right so this is our challenge mode map now there's been quite a lot going on in this map behind the scenes you probably won't believe me i'll tell you but i've probably playing this map for about five hours like recording episode seven i wasn't really getting nowhere so i've done a few modifications i went in the files and edit this sandbox mode again instead of having a, a multiplier of 0 0.5 i have actually made that to 0 0.8 turned disasters off turned off vip visits as well uh, disasters vip visits and invasions it was just making the gameplay so bad and i was just thinking of not continuing this challenge mode because I wasn't getting nowhere. With these few tweaks, starting to get some money now. Because I was only getting about £5,000 each month because of the multiplier that we had on. I was thinking to get a level 10 teacher, it's either not going to work, we're going to hit a brick wall because we're not going to have enough money to actually get this trained up, or it's going to take absolutely ages to do. Increase the multiplier, so we're getting around about £90,000 now. If I have it on a normal multiplier, which is one, I was making like £200,000 profit. <laughs> so it's made the game enjoyable now for us and we can actually do a hell of a lot more so what have you missed well before i actually changed all the settings it took about five hours five six hours to actually furnish out every single room and what i mean by that have you noticed i've got super computers in every single computer lab we've got three computer labs we've got one there we've got one in the middle here then we've got one to the right there they've got around about 40 to 43 percent learning power so that's what i was concentrating on. i was concentrating on the learning power i've also done the same with the science labs so the science lab are now 59 percent learning power i've done the same with lecture theaters but this time we've got 81 percent learning power in lecture theaters now you're probably thinking how the hell have you got 81 percent well put all these speakers in as you can see in the back so we've got some speakers there. They give 3% learning power. And then I've added in these auto cues, which give 4% learning power. There is a diminishing returns as well. If you do keep adding them, it does eventually go down. You're just wasting your money. Same with the VR labs. The VR lab is now 60% learning power uh, because I've added these VR projectors, which are 2% each. And also, well, we already add these two others inside the vr chairs but they don't actually give no gameplay effects what else have i done right i've built a super library we did have two libraries in this space here in the top and they were both given i think around what 17 percent to 20 learning power so i've moved the library from the top there moved it all the way down here and we can have where does it say it says somewhere we can have 23 students in we have got 49 percent learning power in this library with the two libraries what we had before they were only like 17 to 20 now since i've combined them we've got 49 percent, which is a hell of a lot better so the students are going to get done quicker i've also moved the dormitories so where this vr lab is because this vr lab was in this corner here as you can still see the remains of the items which i had around so i've moved the vr lab but i've also extended it by one tile so it's a bit bigger so dormitories i've moved down and i have put them here i just copied and pasted them and then extend it across and i've added these two space beds as well so the dorms are pretty good they're all 100 percent and i've put the other dorm across here ignore all the mechanical issues hopefully the mechanical issues will get sorted now because i'm not going to have any disasters and invasions gym wise gyms have a learning power as well so i've added in each gym well some gyms did actually have it the vaulting course and the high jump so i've added every single one of them in each of the four gyms but what we're going to concentrate on now well over here in these two gaps i am thinking of building two training rooms one here and one here 
because money is not going to be an issue now for us. I'm going to concentrate on training a level 10 teacher. So if we go into our staff and security, we don't need these. We're not going to have them. So we'll get rid of all the security because that's going to be extra money for us. Because they're just going to be a wasted trait that we got. So we're going to get a hell of a lot more money on that, like so. And we're coming out at the end of the eight as well. Upgrade person-wise, I don't have any person who can do a mechanical upgrade. Best just to have one. So if we hire staff, we'll have it, we'll have you. Because in the campus, you don't want loads of mechanics. What's going on here? Okay, so I said there's no disasters, and we've just got a disaster. <laughs> right, okay. I'll have to look into that. It's mainly um, people who come in and destroy your campus invaders, I think. Hopefully that one will work. Right, so we're at the end of the year. Getting a healthy monthly profit now. So we've got 65 cost points now. So what I can do, I can upgrade this now. I can get an extra five more applicants, get some more intakes. Max qualification is going to go up to number nine. I also got rid of my two private tuition rooms as well, which were here. The remnants of the tuition room is here because I still haven't moved the bench and the bin and got rid of this staff. Right, so let's get this training room up and running. Uh, where is it? There we go. We're going to build two training rooms. We'll build one here. I could possibly build it all the way down here and then we'll get everyone trained up, I think. I think we'll do that, actually. So we'll build it here, make it come down so we don't have to actually get rid of all this we'll just move these bins out of the way uh, what's this this is a drinks machine okay put this drinks machine there then and we can start building these so we'll do that right upgrade all these like that and then we shall do the other training room up here right that's going to be enough again we'll start upgrading all this there we go so our mechanic guy is going to be pretty busy right so i'm saying that invasions are off i don't know what's going on here because apparently we are getting invasions our student happiness that has gone up we're on 92 percent so our students are fantastically happy we have went down for the academic results to 78 percent this environmental inspection, that's just stuck. That won't come off. <laughs> it's stuck on 100%. Everyone is in the training room now. This space here, I think I'm going to build another medical. So I'll have a medical over here and a medical in this gap here as well. And also next to it here, I might have another like personal pastoral support. We can probably copy and paste this one, can't we? Yeah. Oh, there's a door there. There. Right, we can't put that one there. We can put you there though. Fixed the invalid items. That's just a window. Right, so we've got two pastorals right next to each other. So we are going to need another member of staff to actually go in there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to build another medical office. Medical offices don't need to be that big. I think we'll just build it like that. Put the medical thing in there. Put you there. Uh, we've got a couple of filing cabinets in collision with that, apparently. Don't know how. I uh, put in four of them. They're not actually on the wall. Stack. What's going on here? There we go. <laughs> right. A bin. And we'll put in that there. Right, so you're a level three. You're fantastic. Start upgrading you. And then what we can do, we can copy you. I spin you around and put you over here. It's nice to have them like spread out. There we go. And then upgrade you. We've got a campus level 36. We've got some more points now. Right, so we'll look at our 
training there's quite a lot of people who have completed the training especially our teachers we shall start upgrading i want all this to level five and then i'll start to put these school of thoughts with the paces right, so you're level two you're level four i think we're all done there we'll give you inspirational while we're at it you're like a level six we might as well just keep upgrading you just went through all the training so everyone is on the training course again there's quite a few people i'm not training the the mechanics because as soon as the training pods are done we'll just get rid of them but everyone else is on a a plan i've just done a few tweaks on my library i've extended it out by two blocks pushed everything back but I've also added in two more giant library receptions because I've noticed that there was a queue on these two. So I've extended it a bit and put in two more. And they also give you more learning power as well. So we're on 62% learning power. A lot of people want to use these computers. So I'll put in two more computers there and there. There we go. Because you do not want your students to be waiting right it seems as though there's no one going in in the training has everyone done the training kind of done no you still need training uh upgrade you there's quite a few people where they do need training still right so i've got everyone back in training as well as the usual suspects which are the two janitors who can upgrade they're not getting upgraded because these need to do this Come on. You've already done your training. That was quick. Look at them all in here. It's getting all filled up now. We're halfway through the year and these lot are just boogieing the way. Look at them. Go on. <laughs> Profit wise, it's going down slightly because we're getting more members of staff trained up and obviously the higher the, the rank, the more money they want. I think this is bugged this where it says a because it just says 78 percent academic results it hasn't moved that so it's probably bugged like this environmental inspection where it's just staying on the page because if we go on to the campus overview if we've got the data assessment score we are actually on 82 percent in general if we've got the summary it says here 82 percent Graduate rate is 97, pass rate is 100. As for the trainer teacher at level 10, we are nearly on that. One of the teachers is level 8, I think. We look, if I get on the right screen. Yeah, this lot is on level 8. We're nearly a campus level 40. Uh, the reason why that's going up because our teachers are getting trained up and the more teachers we're training up, the better this goes up as well. So we can actually increase our course well, as long as we're getting money, I've got everything like upgraded. There's nothing else we can really do. See, this is a little bug as well. I don't know why they do this. They get stuck. So when he comes out there, they get stuck here. Even though there's two. So I might need to actually make another one. I don't know if that's going to work. I'll put like two on either side there. Did that go in? It didn't. There, it did now. And I'll do it the same again on this one. Put you there and put you there. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what's happened to the use it in the face on this. I've tried reloading it and saving it and it just does not go right. Because now our end of the year, it ends here at the end of August. Right, everyone is upgraded. Well, I won't say everyone. I mean the actual training pods. I'm going to start getting rid of these members of staff, which we don't need. The upgrade people. Because they're just pointless now. They're not going to be doing nothing. Um, so we're going qualifications, where are you? Uh, there's one. So, can sack you. Don't need you anymore. Thank you for your service though. I hope we paid you well. And sack all these four. There we go. Now we've got a lot of people with the medical issues. So what I've done, I've added another two more medical officers. So that means we need to hire two more members of staff. We'll get rid of all you. So who are you? Toilet, move faster. We'll have you in there. And the other one. Excellent personal hygiene. We'll have you in there. So these two, which is 
Ariana. And who's the other one? Anika. So let's sort your job assignments out. So there's Anika. And Ariana. There we go. Training wise, we shall start upgrading you. So train you. Uh, staff and train you. There we go. So just doing a quick look on our students. The average score is now 87%. Now we need this to a 90. The only thing that we're actually doing now is just letting the game run. We're not building anything. We're just constantly upgrading our members of staff. That's all we're doing. So our private rooms seem to be... I think they're okay. They don't seem to be getting that busy. Um, For the pastoral people... It looks like people don't really use these that much. I think they're always happy. <laughs> so I'm thinking of getting rid of two of them. And then making two more private tuition rooms. We're going to delete these pastorals. We'll keep the members of staff so they can cover the others. And then we shall have these private tuition rooms here. Just like that. We'll copy you. And then we're going to hire two members of staff. To go, right, what's not working here? It's a window. Okay, who cares about the window? Right, so if we hire two members of staff who can only do them. So what are you? you got poor personal hygiene. Toilet decreases. Hmm. Right, we'll get rid of them because they're a bit rubbish. Rubbish these. Right, so our level 9 members of staff is going in. So this should trigger this. The train teacher at level 10. Come on. He can do it. And then it's going to have a lot of teaching skill, which is good for our students. So come on, it's going to be done. What's it going to go? 160. There we go. Rank 10. Lo and behold, we've done this one. Nice. The average score is 87% still. Hopefully this will start going up. This average grade student is literally, it's on the tipping point. It's on the verge of an A+. So I think this might be, this year might be the year. Because if I go on the last year's students, yeah, they're all Bs. We can... It might be actually not too bad. If we can get these tip... Oops, don't want to fire you. What, what's that? Uh, expel. If we can get these over to level... Well, 80%. To get them on a A. Then that'll be good. Uh, year freeze. We've got a couple of year freeze students. We haven't got that many B. If we get rid of these Bs, we've got the... We've done the challenge. Um, Recently... While Year two home, is all level. Well, is like all these year one I students once these level up? This is going to trigger. This has gone down now. See that gap there? That gap's got bigger. It's gone like 88% we're on. I presume it was on 89. Oh, it's gone back up again. So I presume we're on 89%. Yeah, we're on 89. Come on, we need a 90. We need a 90%. So if we look on our students now. These still need doing. These haven't got a grade yet. Ah, they're getting up. They're getting in the actual. They're getting upgraded now. So we can put them in private rooms. There's quite a lot here. You're getting an F. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how the hell you can get an F. If you're getting an F, then surely you're not right to come to this university because it's literally impossible to get a fail in this. Well, you've got yourself a whole hey, pizza. oh, that worked, that. Mm, just like Mama used oh, to we did it. We, well, we got the three stars there. Did you see it? It actually came on. That three star came on. It's gone. We can't do nothing else. We've done the challenge. We've done it. With a little help of a bit of tweaking in the menus to get a bit more money. Because that was the only way forward. I could not have done this challenge without actually increasing the multiplier. Because it was on 0 0.5 and it's on 0 0.8. I did have it on 1 again. And then that was... We're getting too much money. 
and obviously upgrading all these members of staff was the way forward as well uh, but like i said we could have done this quite a while ago you learn something new every day so this is the end of the challenge mode the time it took me just to do this recording on this episode it took me about five hours five six hours even longer than that to be honest with you so all i was doing was i was just sat here looking at the screen that's all i was doing <laughs> but i've learned something new so hopefully in the next if i do another challenge mode then i know what to do if you liked this one then please hit the sub button if you haven't already please give us a thumbs up as well leave a comment remember there is a brand new dlc coming out on march the 15th i shall be covering everything on that with all the campaigns getting the free stars on them and on that note i shall see you all in the next one